Welcome to Hope Channel International. Most of us know about the great disappointment that happened in 1844, but do you know where Miller went wrong in his prediction? This video has the answer. Bill, as they were studying all over the world, Miller's not the only one who came By to no this conclusion. Means. Um, they kind of refined their studies and finally, after a number of adjustments and dates, landed on October 22nd, 1844, and Jesus didn't come. And the question is, where did Miller go wrong? Was he being deceptive? Is he just some kind of wacko cult leader? Uh, was he leading people astray, or is this an honest mistake? What went wrong? Virtually every contemporary historian and peer testified that this man was a man of integrity, of solid character, who would not intentionally deceive anybody. We know that from his peers and from the secular historians who've looked at his life. So it, where Miller went wrong, he went honestly wrong. And it came from his reading of the text. He looked at Daniel 8.14 and said, Unto 2,300 days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. And he made the assumption that the sanctuary being referred to was the earth and that the cleansing would happen by fire when Jesus returned the second time. Now, for a man who wanted Jesus to come, this is a fairly reasonable expectation. Absolutely. But when you begin looking at the actual language of Daniel 8.14 and you ask, what parts of Scripture should we go to to understand this, Miller could have used a little bit more Bible study on this point. Yeah, he probably could have gone over to the book of Hebrews. I've, yes. I've looked at Miller's mistake, uh, probably not as in-depth as you, but you know, all the prophecies are parallel. Daniel 2 takes us from uh, Babylon and, uh, and Greece and, and Persia. Oh, I got it wrong. Mm -hmm. Babylon, Persia, Greece, Rome, and ends in the second coming. Daniel 7 goes through the same yeah. progression of kingdoms and ends with a judgment scene yes. where Jesus yeah. receives the kingdom. Daniel 8 has the kingdoms again, ends in Daniel 8, 14, and I suppose one way it could be parallel is the second coming, and maybe Miller was aligning it more that way with Daniel 2. I'm not trying to read his mind, but it's reasonable to say, hey, might be the second coming. But it's also reasonable to say, maybe this event heralds the judgment. And as we study Scripture, we find out, yeah, okay, the sanctuary is not on earth. Hebrews 8 says that the sanctuary on earth, the tabernacle on earth, was a shadow of a real, a true one in heaven where Jesus is our high priest. It, uh, it also says, I mean, the clues in Daniel 8, 14 as to what it really yeah. was, the sanctuary, in heaven, what it was referring to, it says that it's for the time of the end, right? This is a, an end time prophecy. It's for a time that's appointed, it says in Daniel 8. And we read in Acts chapter 17, Paul says, there's a day been appointed for the judgment. the judgment. Then it says the sanctuary is cleansed. If you go to the sanctuary looking for clues, as you should, because all the language in Daniel 8 is sanctuary language, there's a day where they cleanse the sanctuary, the Day of Atonement. Leviticus 16.16, 16, they, they cleanse the sins of the children of Israel out of the sanctuary, which yes. had been symbolically transmitted there. And that was understood to be a solemn day of a judgment. judgment. Yeah. He had everything right but the event. His it was time, an honest mistake. His timeline is, is, as someone has said, unimpeached. It, it, it really holds up well to the scrutiny of anyone who takes this historicist view of prophecy. But Miller erred in, in mistaking the event that was being referred to. The event wasn't Jesus coming to this earth. The event was, in fact, something happening in heaven where the true sanctuary, according to Hebrews, actually is. Right, right. And so I, this is an honor. And, and somebody might say, hey, uh, he shouldn't get it wrong if he's a Christian preacher. And oh, wow. That would disqualify deceiver. both of us, right, wouldn't I've, it? Yeah. I've gotten some stuff horribly wrong, but even John the Baptist misunderstood prophecy at one point. I remember a story where he sent his followers to say, are you really Messiah or did I make a mistake? Yes. John the Baptist said that? Of all people. And he had an accurate understanding, well, he had an accurate set of prophecies yeah. to preach, yes. the coming first advent of Christ, but he had some misunderstandings. Miller was an honest man. Absolutely. He, he, he knew the prophecies and he made some mistakes on what they were referring to. Still end time but the judgment. This means that this letter is pivotal for the Christian church. It brings us right up to the cusp of understanding what was actually happening in the heavenly sanctuary. References in the language of the letter to Philadelphia to a, to a shut door and an open door. We ask, what does this mean? Suddenly, when those who came through Miller's experience were disappointed when Jesus didn't come on October 22, 1844, they went back to the Word of God and said, said 
where did we go wrong? And they began to understand that in fact, as they should have, the event being described was in heaven, not on earth, and that that shut door and open door referred to something going on in heaven.